Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. I just took this unit in on trade. Uh, for those of you wanting a, a smaller Class A motorhome with slide and jacks and low miles, here you go. 2005 Coachman Murata 290KS, 30 feet long with one power slide out only has 36,000 miles and change and very nice clean unit um, easy size for state parks and older campgrounds got hydraulic leveling jacks got some really neat features for a small motorhome let's look around this RV folks and as you can see the outside has been well taken care of uh, got a patio awning now is this a holiday rambler or a Monaco dynasty of course not but it's not priced for one either for those of y'all wanting a a nice, pretty basic, but easy to use motorhome. Here you go. Got everything you need, nothing you don't. Uh, a couple of cool features I want to point out about it. It's got the ride, ride air suspension. So you can uh, soften or harden up your ride if you're towing something. Got a 5500 Onan gasoline generator, of course. With 542 hours on it, running right now, powering everything inside. This unit came from the factory with two ducted roof airs, which is overkill. 99% of y'all will never need two roof airs unless you're going to go desert camping in the middle of summer, but you've got it if you need it. Um, built on a Ford chassis, 6.8 liter Triton V10, 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. One of the most popular engine choices for Class A gas motorhomes and definitely um, a dependable engine. Forward torque shift 5-speed automatic. Got the rear view camera system that works great. Got a hitch with a 5,000 pound trailer tow capacity. Spare tire on the back. Corners aren't beat up. I don't see any delamination. Got a kitchen slide with an awning topper. That's what the KS stands for. Six gallon DSI water heater. Got the Max Air vent covers on the roof. 30 amp service, which is, uh, Coachman did this in the mid 2000s. Uh, you know, 2004, fives and stuff. 30 amp power cord for shore power with a 50 amp generator. So um, when you're running generator, you can run both airs, but now when you're hooked into shore power, you can only run one, but be honest with you, like I said, 99% of the time, one air will run you out of there. So, especially if you run them both on the generator on your way there, if you're camping in extreme hot weather, it'll maintain it very easily. Tires look good. Um, I mean, I don't see anything that just jumps out and grabs me as far as any kind of damage or anything like that you need to make aware of. I like the uh, curved around windshield, and the windshields do look good. I don't see any cracks on it on either side. It's got some fog lights. Got a good stance to it, folks. And for $24.9, I mean, wow. This is a lot of RV for the money. All right, let's look inside. It does have a power step, and this is just how it came in. We hadn't even had a chance to clean it up yet. Wash it or clean up the inside or outside. So you're basically looking at it just like the previous owner kept it. And he, it was a couple that had this. They decided they wanted to go bigger. So they traded for a big diesel. Uh, got a Samsung HDTV um, up top. Got a Voyager backup camera system and it works. Uh, they added a Boss navigation touchscreen, stereo, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. Got a brake controller if you want to tow something. 36,758 miles dash air is cold. And um, no check engine lights or warning lights of any kind. Got the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. You can see the control right here in the floor. It's got the original carpet. That's in very good shape. I'm, I'm probably just need to vacuum it up a little bit. Leather captain's chairs. They both swivel for party seating. Um, you can see the vinyl, it looks good um, on the dash, so obviously they didn't have animals. No smoke, no pet odors. 
uh, table doesn't look bad got a little bit of the little piece of trim missing right here on the side of the table and I like to point stuff like that out folks because as nice as this unit is it's a 2005 model it's a 14 year old RV it's not going to be new and uh, you've got to expect cosmetic imperfections on any used vehicle you buy it doesn't matter if it's a a 1975 model or a 1985, a 2005, 2015, it don't matter. You got to expect some cosmetic flaws. But the carpet does look good. I'll get my uh, cleaning crew in here, clean it up, vacuum it up good for you. Uh, sofa makes a bed, table makes a bed, so it can sleep six people. It's got a Queen Island bed in the back. And nothing fancy, just a basic, easy to use Class A motorhome. So you've got all the outside bays, a nice outside storage. You've got the bigger tanks over a Class C, bigger fuel tanks, water tanks, things like that. Um, kitchen area looks good. Stovetop, oven, microwave. I've got both ACs on, even though I don't need it. I just want to make sure they both work, and they do. Uh, refrigerator, we got to clean it up a little bit, but looks good. Now, I haven't had it on long enough to see if it works, but I'm sure it does, and we guarantee that anyway. Got slide-out pantry, a uh, little trays that slide out, so for extra storage. And you've got a pretty fair amount of storage, because you have to realize, folks, in the world of Class A's, 30 feet, 31 feet is a relatively small Class A. I um, mean, this is basically Class C length in a Class A. So definitely, um, you know, you're going to have to give up a little bit of storage, but you've got, all in all, this thing's got very adic adequate storage for, for this size motorhome. I don't see any wasted space. And these are some nice deep cabinets and drawers. Got a little bulletin board right here, uh, clock, a little place to hang your keys or whatever up there, little shelves. It's like they've been to the Florida Keys. Been there a few times myself, folks. There, there's a couple of really good campgrounds down there I can recommend um, for those of y'all wanting to vacation down there, especially in the winter time. Now, I, I'm, I'm currently out of bed spreads. I've got some ordered from Amazon. They'll be here in a day or two, but I just ordered about 30 of them, so I'll definitely have a bed spread on here. But look at the advantage. You can see how clean the mattress is. Um, your second AC is back here, of course, your intake for it, a uh, place for a TV. And if I had to guess, they probably had a little flat screen Velcro tape to this counter instead of the old CRT TV that went up here, if I had to guess. A little mirror so you can use that for a little makeup or get ready area. Got some closet space over here in the corner. Um, over here, more closet. And actually got a, a surround glass shower, which is pretty nice. You've got a nice deep vanity right here. Stickers, still in relatively good shape. That means this thing just hasn't been overused to death. Skylight looks good. I don't see any, any leak issues there, any signs of water damage. Private water closet with, your, of course, your RV toilet. And this is pretty nice. Look at all this extra storage they got right here. And, of course, your RV toilet in here. And, of course, you've got a solid sliding door for privacy if you want to separate and isolate the bathroom from the rest of the RV. There's your sticker. Actually, folks, this is the 2006 model. This is another one of those ones that um, it's titled as a 2005, even though it does not going to make much difference, but it is an 06, as you can see from the sticker. And this is what happens, folks, is... Here's the thing, all RVs are built on Euro chassis. In other words, yeah, this was sold new as a 2006, uh, advertised and priced as a 2006 back when it was new. Probably what happened when the original owner bought this RV, the dealer, the original selling dealer, sends the title to the, that customer's state DMV office. They send them in bulk by mail title clerk and you got to realize most title clerks know absolutely nothing about RVs what they do is they type in the VIN number that's on the certificate of origin to make the original title the VIN number automatic in their, in their computer system auto populates it as a 
2005 Ford chassis instead of a 2006 Coachman Murata and that and they print out a title the customer doesn't see it because chances are they financed it and it's several years if they if they ever pay it off before they see the title and by then they probably couldn't correct it um, anyway so that's what happens that's why these titles get like this on these RVs folks are all built on year old chassis because coachmen will buy them in bulk at the end of the year from Ford or Chevrolet and uh, to get a better deal they buy them at the end of the year and they buy them for the next year's production model class A motorhomes and that's what happens um, but it is a 2006 however I have to sell it by what's listed on the title and that is a 2005 Ford chassis so I'm selling it as an 05 on paper in, in all practical terms it is an 06 and it's priced for an 05 so bonus for y'all um, you're getting a year you're getting a year newer motor home than you're paying for but like I said the paperwork's going to say 05 but you saw the sticker and there it is in 06 and um, so if you've got any questions about that call us folks anybody that's ever dealt with used RVs well, this is this is common on about 50 60 percent of them in some cases especially uh, now is not so much as common because a lot of computer systems now at the tag offices they've updated and corrected them but you got to realize back in 2006 it, that wasn't the case so uh, like I said it shows an 05 title but it is an 06 model but we're going to sell it as an 05 because as a licensed bonded insured dealer we have to list it by the year model listed on the title so as long as you're aware of that, you may or may not be able to get that corrected. Every state has different laws about this. Some states you can get it corrected very easily. Some states you have to go through an act of Congress. We're going to leave that up to you, the buyer, if you want to mess with it. it it's probably not. It would make a little difference value-wise if you ever tried to sell it or trade it, but it's not that much. So it, it's whatever you want to do. If you've got the time to mess with it, hey, why not? But anyway this is a beautiful marauder for the price 24.9 here's something you can get an affordable payment on and yes we do have financing available with approved credit and we've got some great nationwide lenders and we're and we're more than happy to go through your own local bank or credit union or finance company as well a lot of customers coming here with their own financing we're absolutely fine with that most dealers aren't because they mark interest rates up to make money we don't do that folks if you go through one of our lenders, you're paying whatever the bank approves you for. Other other RV dealerships will mark the interest rate up one or two percent, costing you thousands of dollars over the life of an RV loan and higher payments. But we don't do that, folks. You know, you buy rate, and um, we don't. So it's up to completely up to you whether you go through our lenders or you want to go through your own lenders. In fact, uh, just a just a little quick uh, tip. If you currently own an RV and you finance through the dealership's finance department, check with your local bank or credit union, Google, or get on the computer, Google RV financing, and, and find banks that will go directly, work directly with consumers to finance an RV. Chances are your interest rate's way too high. You can refinance it, save money, pay it off quicker, and save money per month on a loan. Don't go through a broker if you do that Google search. Go through the bank directly. And uh, because brokers do the same thing, they mark the interest rates up over what the bank approves you for. That's how they make their money. That's why they're brokers. And technically, most RV dealerships, finance departments are brokers too because that's what they do. But, folks, like I said, you can save a lot of money doing that. So it's definitely worth checking into. But this 290 KS is 24.9 haggle free, and, and it's also going to include uh, you get this beautiful low mileage Class A Murata with a complete, uh, very extensive checkout. Go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, click on Class A's and find this one, click on it, and there'll be a link in the item in the details page that shows you a four page massive checkout list of everything that we inspect and guarantee after purchase um, on this RV and I'm gonna tell you right now folks there's not another dealer in the country that's going to take a 14 year old used RV for 24 9 with 36,000 miles in this nice condition and put it through that inspection 
most RV dealers, especially the ones that sell new and used, that the best they check your propane system for leaks. That's it. Everything else is as is. We go through this thing, folks, like we were buying it ourselves. Go through that list, you'll be impressed. Nobody else does that, folks. That's what makes us different. We've been doing this for 51 years for a reason, folks, and we sell five to 600 used RVs a year because of the way that we uh, check them out and the price we sell them for. You know, we don't, uh, you don't stay in business over half a century unless you're doing something right, and that's exactly what we do. Last, last 10 years, we've sold over 5,000 RVs. Um, so definitely a lot of happy customers out there. These are used. I'm not saying they're new. There's going to be cosmetic imperfections. We don't cover cosmetics. Uh, we, we concentrate on the mechanical stuff. We want to make sure everything that's important works so the first time you use it, you're enjoying camping with your family, not worrying about not making a repair list for your RV. And uh, that's why you come to a dealer to buy. You want one that, that'll be checked out, ready to go, versus a for sale by owner. Where the first thing you got to do when you when you take possession of it is take it to the repair shop and get a, and start getting stuff fixed on it. You don't have to worry about that here, folks. 24-9, you're going to get a fully functional 2006-2005 Coachman Murata, uh 290 KS. Cleaned up, checked out, ready to go. After purchase, the unit goes in line to get checked out. Uh, contact my sales team for a current lead time on a Class A checkout. Um, we're going to go through that four-page inspection sheet, make sure everything on it works. If it doesn't, we repair it, we replace the part, whatever it takes, no matter what the cost, to make sure this unit passes that inspection with flying colors. And even if we lose money on the deal, folks, we do what we say we're going to do for 24-9. Doesn't go up because we spent extra on it. It's 24-9 uh, for all those with all those systems in that check sheet guaranteed to work. And um, can't get any easier than that, folks. Uh, also, this unit comes with a 90-day nationwide limited warranty that we purchase on your behalf to give you peace of mind. It's accepted at a network of dealers nationwide. Y'all pardon me for just one second. Ah. Well, it's coming. Um, Sorry about that, folks. Pollen's real bad, uh, and uh, you ever get that feeling you got to sneeze and you don't, so I'm sure it'll hit me here in just a little bit. But anyway, uh, you get the 90-day nationwide limited warranty, so you don't have to worry about it. In the rare occasion that you do have a warranty claim in the first three months, uh, because I know uh, most of you buying from us, you're going to be traveling a long distance to buy from us. That's normal. That's several buyers a week travel thousands of miles to buy from us. So we know in the rare occasion that you have something break on it in the first 90 days, you don't want to have to take it all the way back here. While you certainly can, we have no problem doing warranty repairs. You have options. A lot of times you can find a dealer that's closer in the network that can help you out and do the same thing we can do and uh, save you having to travel all the way back here to Georgia to, to get a warranty repair. And, um, and of course, we do the same thing for their customers. That's what being in a network is all about, folks. But anyway, 24-9, you get all those benefits. You get a 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time. A select RV resorts nationwide, that's included for that 24-9 price for used in a 12-month period. You get a start a RV starter kit with all your camping essentials. New sewer hose, new water hose, pressure reducer, chemicals, toilet paper, wash and wax, and much more included for that 24.9 price all brand new most dealerships you have to buy that stuff extra after you buy a used RV you don't get anything that's included oh gosh what else uh, of course you get instructional DVDs and more so if you have any questions at all give us a call 706-965-7929 please call before coming to look because I never delete my YouTube videos I don't want you making a long trip for a unit that's already got a deposit on it are already sold so please call ahead make sure it's available for traveling down here to look at it and keep in mind I have 150 plus used RVs in stock more arriving every day um, in fact uh, I was coming out here to shoot this one they just pulled up in a van and another camper van and another class A motorhome I'll be shooting soon so um, my drivers did so we've got units coming in every day and going out every day we said we sell five to six hundred used RVs a year and got over 150 in stock Thank you for watching my video, folks. Um, 
I think you're going to be impressed with this motorhome for $24.9. And if you don't, if you're not impressed with it, I've got a few others in that price range too that you can look at. So you would not be away. In fact, this, this freezer is already starting to get cold. Cool. Well, cold, cool, whatever. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching my video. And if you have any questions, call us 706 965 7929. Visit my website, folks, please. I've got so much more information than what's on this video on, on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, I'll have a factory sales brochure, a floor plan. I'll have detailed specs, exact measurements, tank sizes, all the important technical information you could ever want will be on my website as well as pictures, finance applications. If you want to try to get approved for financing, we do have financing available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment plus your applicable sales tax. Banks are now requiring us to uh, consider the sale, uh, to add the sales tax on top of the down payment. So, you know, RVing is financing is tricky, folks. It's not like car financing. It's closer to home financing, more closer to home financing than a than auto finance. But thank you for watching. Go to my website, ParkwayRVCenter.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to the video description below if you're watching this on YouTube. There'll be a link. You can click on to go to my used Class A page on my website. Thank you again, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.